up guys it's your girl aries ashley here with another quickie candle review right now we are burning goose creek's red velvet cupcake i broke mine and i had to repot it so i used the bath and body works cranberry woods jar to repot my goose creek's red velvet cupcake candle anyway the scent notes on goose creek's red velvet cupcake are red berries coconut sugar vanilla red velvet cake batter cocoa powder dark chocolate and whipped buttercream talk about the packaging i'll just put a picture of it up here it's a really cute snowman with some nice red wax and i really appreciate it a simple front sticker and i really liked it now let's talk about the burn this is my last burn you guys i think she's she's done for. i had some nice medium wicks that lasted me through the entire burn but this is getting down to where we're at a medium low it now it burned all right i can't really give it a fair shake because this was how it burned being repotted and not how it would have burned being in the original jar so i really don't want to go too much into the burn life of the candle because i repotted it but for the most part i'll say that for this being a patchwork job, I got a really decent burn out of this candle. Let's talk about the scent. I absolutely love the scent of this candle. Like, oh my gosh, it was so good. This fragrance was nice. You got the chocolate, like it was so strong with the chocolate and the cake. You could really, really smell the red velvet cake in here and the buttercream, like the whipped buttercream. Oh my gosh. It was, this is, you guys, my favorite. This is my favorite red velvet cupcake fragrance. It's from Goose Creek, straight up. That was just so chocolatey and delicious, and it smelled so real. It smelled, it smelled authentic, and I really, really appreciated that. Oh, man, it was just so, like, it made me want a slice of some good red velvet cake, like, I don't know that they nailed cupcake, but they definitely nailed like a slice, like the slice of cake. Oh, it smells so good. The performance on this one. Throw. I burned her on the porch for like maybe the first two or three burns. She threw out a seven. She threw out a seven on, on the porch outside. It was fairly decent for it to be a bakery fragrance anyway. And uh, hubby walked in and he said, babe, I don't know what you got going on that porch but it's good and he was talking about this this is what i had going on the porch at the time and it smells so good then i moved her inside and i burned in the living room area and she threw out an eight she got she increased you guys so so good and that's when we were about at the halfway point of the candle now that we're at the bottom she's throwing at like a 6.8 like she's dying out a little bit and I guess because we're at the very end, but the fragrance strength on the candle, I'm gonna give it an eight, a 8.5. Like you could really, really smell it and I appreciate that because it wasn't like a super light cakey scent. No, it was a yummy, delicious in your face. This is what red velvet cake is supposed to smell like fragrance. And I thought it was absolutely divine. Yes, I would repurchase this candle and yes, I would gift this one to my foodie friend thing I want to touch on before we leave is that I have had this candle for a while I want to say I had this candle since 2020 and I just never got around to burning it so I don't know if they changed the formula since then or what but mine was an older candle that had just been sitting in a crate for two years so I'm not sure if that affected my performance or what but I'll tell you what I'm still willing to repurchase it to find out. All right, you guys, those are my thoughts on Goose Creek's Red Velvet Cupcake. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!